Hello, I'm Shashi Tharoor, and I have to say that we have a particularly interesting challenge in India today. We have vast human capital, a rapidly expanding economy, great ambitions of becoming even a, a global power, but it's all hampered by a deep-seated and chronic insufficiency in research and development. Despite having 17% of the world's brains, since we have 17% of the world's population, we only have 2.7% of the world's research output. And that is a failure to leverage our demographic dividend to generate high value research. So in my article in the Hindu, I try and look at this in some detail. How do we actually improve the quality and quantity of our output? Yes, we are growing now, but we're growing from a very small base. And in terms of overall, um, for example, patent applications, we only account for 1.8% of the global total, despite having so many people. Um, we are 47th in the world in terms of applications of patents per million inhabitants. And our R&D expenditure is an embarrassment. It's consistently between 0.6 to 0.7% of GDP, which keeps slipping as GDP grows, whereas China spends 2.5%, the US spends 3.5%, and Israel spends 5.5% of GDP on research and development. So I think it's very, very important for us to realize that when a, co a company like Huawei in China invests $23.4 billion, one company in R&D, which is more than our entire country, 1.4 billion people are spending in the same year, there is something wrong here. And I think we really do have to understand the importance of creating an Indian innovation ecosystem anchored in serious research. And for this, we need to improve significantly private sector investment and involvement. Innovation is always something that in mature economies, the private sector contributes a great deal to. For example, in, um, in India, the government is contributing 64% of all R&D expenditure, uh, which is simply not good enough. Whereas in the Western world, the proportions are often as high as 70 or 80 percent coming from the private sector. We need to do much more of that. We also need to improve the interface between academia and industry, uh, something that uh, the UPA government had attached some importance to. And we need to ensure that the slow bureaucratic processes uh, governing the allocation of public R&D funds uh, are completely streamlined. If you want to, if we want to create a Vixit Bharat, uh, we have to understand it is not a sprint, but a marathon.